Welcome everybody, Gmo here, and I want to talk to everybody about the Explorer notes and the dossiers on the island. Oh yeah, here, let me get my uh, suit off there. There you go. That's much better. Now, when you're on the island here, if you're trying to get all the Explorer notes and the dossiers to get the uh, Expert Explorer or any of the other achievements. I actually got all 32 achievements now. The dossiers and the Explorer notes, there are 234 total. Once you get to 90%, well, I have two of them there? Oh, that's a weird looking glitch. <laughs> Check that out the heck is that? Well, well, anyways. Are they... Still got two? Wow, that is a weird looking glitch. Well, anyways. Um, oh, she didn't talk this much on Genesis 2. Oh my god, she drives me nuts. Well, well, anyways, after I beat Genesis 2, I thought, well, what else do I have left to do? I'm a 155. I never went to Genesis 1. Oh, my God. It's showing two of them on my screen there, too. Well, I decided to come back to the island to get all the achievements on the island. Because if you get all the Explorer notes from all the particular maps, you can get an extra 10 bonus levels. Now, I didn't go to Genesis 1. That is just weird. Okay, that's going to drive me nuts. Um, so I decided, well, let me go back to the island and I'm going to try for the island. So I have a couple friends of mine that they were late coming here. So what I did is I actually mapped out where every last Explorer node is, except for the ones that are in the tech cave. You actually have to go through and do the battle for that. Now there are notes that you get for doing the battle for the brood mother, the dragon, and so forth. You have to beat them on either beta, gamma, or alpha to get the note. And then the final note you get from beating from ascending the island. And then you'll get the hundred percent. That is the only way to get the hundred percent. And then the only other uh, achievement that I had left here was to tame. Every tameable, well, not really tameable, every, oh, whatever, it classified it, uh, whatever it was, dino. There is 89 of them. So I set myself out on a task to tame every last one of them. It took me almost a month. And I have most of them in here. There's 83 of them in here, not counting the sheep. And then down below, I have a couple of the water ones. I built this. I took most of the element. I do have superstructures uh, mod, so you can have transferable element. So I turned a lot of the element from Gen 2 into transferable element, because, man, that map is so easy to get element on. And I transferred thousands of element over here to create this. I always wanted to do an underwater base. And actually, the Bassies came from a buddy of mine who's on Gen 1. He came over here just for the uh, notes. Uh, oh, I don't have uh, my tech mask on. Well, anyways, I got my squid. That uh, that was a bear. He was uh, level, I think it was a 70 originally. And then I have a really nice Mosa. I want to say the Mosa was a one, 105. Uh, great stats on it. But uh, it's so, it's that stupid, or stupid, um, that tech bow is so OP it isn't funny. I had that Mosa knocked out in no time flat. It was just so easy. And actually, this base is so cool. I hate to leave it. 
I wanted to close all this off, but uh, I was running low on uh, materials, so I said, nope. But it is such a cool looking base. And this is all uh, superstructures. I was tempted to take it apart, to take it with me, because I am planning on going back to, or going to all the other maps that have, and this is just weird. Because this is all, you see the water here, but when you go below it, this is all air. It's just weird. Well, anyways, uh, I'm going to all the maps that have the notes and going from note to note to see if I can get every last one of them. I think this was the only map that you actually have to do the battles for a note. But I just wanted to do this video and actually, oh man. That is just bizarre. Why do I have two of them? It's just so freaky. It's bad enough having one of them. When I was in the ice cave and I just kept pooping, she just would not shut up. It was annoying. Um, well, anyways, I'm, my next trip I'm going back to Gen 2. I wish I would have did it when I was on there and grab all the notes. So now i got to... Transfer my server back to Gen 2. In a way, I'm hoping my base is still there. So I don't have to try and rebuild another base. Because so I have a small base over there. But this is what's left of uh, my dinos. These were my uh, mutated uh, shadow mains. I got 24 mutations on them. And uh, the rest of them I transferred over to my single player because that's my holding pen for all my dinos. But I just want, like I said, I want to do this to let everybody know how to uh, get your uh, explorer notes. The best thing to do is to go to Arc Wiki and punch up achievements or explorer notes, actually. Punch up explorer notes and that will, you can get the GPS coordinates, you can print them up from every map. And if you punch up achievements, and you can go down the achievement list, um, that will actually give you the list for all the different dinos to tame. And like I said, there is 89 of them in total. And most of them are pretty easy. Some of them are going to be a pain in the butt. But getting 32 achievements total is easy on the island. It's just going to be time consuming. I've been on here for about a month now to get all the achievements. But getting the uh, notes, um, I had a wi uh, Void Wyvern on here, or Void Worm, whatever you want to call it. And I just flew from uh, one note to the next because I had the GPS coordinates. I just grabbed it and kept on going. That wyvern was getting so much XP. But I uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you on the next episode. And I am back now, finally. All right. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.